Well, everybody, welcome back to our second live stream today. This was uh, totally not planned, but uh, I thought it was appropriate for what's happening in the market and, of course, what's happening in the uh, rest of the world, which if you took a look at uh, what's happening today, and this just happened like the last 30 minutes to an hour or so, uh, quite a bit of a drop. And, of course, just as the title and thumbnail suggest, it's because President Joe Biden has officially not going to seek re-election for the president of the United States. This uh, just came out roughly 45 minutes ago, maybe an hour, I'm not for sure. But uh, as it states, my fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we made great promises as a nation. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Done great things. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people, the other we overcome a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Been the greatest honor. President, while it's been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. Let me say that again. Party and the country for me is to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term, meaning that he's not going to step down as the president of the United States right now. It's just that he won't seek re-election for the upcoming presidential election we have in November of this year. Uh, he states, I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me reelected, I want to thank Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. Let me express my heartfelt appreciation from the American people faith and trust. I believe today, what I've always had, there's nothing America can't do, we do it together. Which I can tell you is a very commendable letter. How many people, how many of us could actually do these things and just say, you know what, this is the best thing for the nation, for the business, for the family, whatever, to just say, hey, you know what, it's not within me. I don't think I should go on. This is time to really really stepped on. If you watch the uh, election, or excuse me, the debate, you saw exactly why he probably should have stepped out. And that's what's happening. And because of that, we saw this volatility. And I expect this to continue throughout the day. I expect this to continue tomorrow. Some people will say, but Rob, you don't understand. This is actually, you know, great news because now the markets know exactly where we're going. And I have to happen to say untrue. I don't think we know where things are going. I don't think we know just because Biden is stepping down, it doesn't mean that another person who comes in, whoever that may be, uh, will not keep the same people in office. Because some, some people said, hey, look, that means that Gary Gensler's out. That means that Janet Yellen's out. That means that everybody's out. And I say to you, I don't think that's actually the case. I mean, we have to play it as it comes out. So markets don't like uncertainty. They like when they know the policy of the current administration, because they know who is going to be nominated or who is going to stay in place. They know what the direction of the country is going. They know the economic factors. They like these things. And with this happening, it becomes more uncertain. And even though we talk about, and you know, people say, well, Trump's a lock and maybe, I don't know. Me personally, I'll see it all, how it all plays out. My responsibility is to inform you of what's going on so you don't freak out like, why is it this crazy? Shouldn't this be a lock for Trump or shouldn't this be a lock for somebody else? I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm saying that volatility is here and it's going to continue throughout the day and throughout probably next week and we'll see what actually happens. So that's what's happening. And then on top of that, you might question and say, well, how volatile and how bad is it? Is there anything else going on? Yes. And this was the tweet that was just put out, oof. Yeah, about 45 minutes ago or so. And uh, the president, or whoever is running his account, says, I've decided not to accept the nomination, focus all my energies and my duties as president. Like, just like you said in the letter, my very first decision as the party nominee in 2020 was to pick Kamala Harris as my VP. And it's been the best decision I've made today. I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. Democrats, time to come together and beat Trump. Let's do this. And hey, might work out. But uh, that's actually a pretty smart move because they raised, I want to say, over $200 million for the campaign. And uh, if Biden steps down, which he is, and Kamala isn't the, the one that actually takes his place, then that money has, cannot be used as far as like campaign financing. As I understand it, as was explained to me, I'm not a campaign finance lawyer. 
and there would uh, be a lot of uh, red tape to go through. So that's, if you're looking for where the money flows, Kamala Harris is probably gonna be the VP nominee. And if that actually comes out and what they're, they're they'll probably have to go through primaries and see who actually, who does it and a whole lot of hoopla. And if that happens, then shoo, even more volatility. So that's what we have right there. And this is, I'm taking a look at trading view and I have it on the minute candle just because, ah, why not? And did you know you can do this in CoinGecko? Let me see here. If you go over here, right where it says, I mean, if you don't have a, a, a trading view account, like I don't, I'm not a big trader, but you can click on trading view. Then in here, you can take a look at all the candles as the wicks go up and down and you can take it for an hour, 30 minutes, one minute. You can see just where we are. So quite a dump. And I gotta tell you, if, congratulations for everybody who picked up that, that wick on the way down. And you might ask yourself, well, are people just that unnerved to start selling? No, not really. Remember, sell pressure comes from a lot of places. It could be people who are trading on margin. There's also leverage out there, which some people like to do. I gotta tell you, you if you would if you did a long position and you were, you know, going well, you know, Bitcoin's only gonna go up, we're gonna, it's gonna be a great time and there's there's gonna be an announcement in the uh, uh, Bitcoin convention in Nashville and it's gonna be great. I don't know if you have this on your bingo card for Biden to drop out, but I'm gonna guess that there's some liquidations going on right now. And because of those, that becomes a little bit of a herd mentality as people start to see the price drop, so they start selling. Maybe the order books are thin on some different exchanges. And of course the bots pick this up and go, whoa, somebody's selling, I gotta sell too. And that's why you see these, these like $2,000, $3,000 dip. But I think cooler heads prevail and smart people pick it up. And that's where we're at. So that's what's going on. I think it's uh, not a surprise. Actually, I think this was actually Pretty much stated that this was going to happen on the weekend. I'm kind of surprised that it happened on a Sunday, but here we are. Anyhow, that's what we have. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And that's it for this video. I just want to just kind of throw that out there, see where everybody's at. Just tell people just to calm down. <laughs> I think personally, this is a gift. This is a gift from whoever you want to praise it up to. And it's a gift because over the next six to 18 months, I still see that we're in the right place at the right time. And we just talked about this in uh, today's show about where retail investors are. I don't think they're actually here. I think they got burned real bad in 2021. I laid out my reasons why. I think that as the price starts to go down, the people that were waiting for these dips, if you still have money on the sidelines, congratulations. I've been buying these dips like crazy and uh, not a bad time to do these things. So and it's a funny thing too, because I did tweet out yesterday I tweeted out yesterday, I said, make sure to take profits. If you don't take profits, I'll dump on you. And that means everybody here. I mean, I have these, these rules on the side, not for my own health, but for you know people to take a look at them. So <laughs> it's amazing how that works out. Everybody thinks they got the, the market figured out 100% and does the exact opposite. I think it's gonna be volatile tomorrow, probably go straight up, who knows. But that's it for that piece. Now, if you wanna stick around, Let's do a little Q&A. I'll answer all your questions to the best of my abilities and uh, have a good time.